Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are basically going to learn how to report bugs, and this is gonna be a crash course. Uh, so let me tell you, like this was actually a document that I have read uh, over online. I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna give the link in the description also. You go through it. It was about a crash course on reporting bugs. So these are actually the important learnings and the points, as well as the template that I have prepared over the past year to how to report bugs, right? all that information into the single video that i have basically put right so let's get started and let's learn in a crash course way how to report bugs properly all right let's get started um, before we start guys just wanted to let you know uh, if you are someone who want to learn about api testing if you are someone who is basically want to switch from manual to automation please go through the links i have basically given in the uh, in this mind map you can download this mind map mind map at sd.life/notes go to the mind map folder and you will see a pdf all the pdf with the links you can search the title and you will get it and download all the links okay so don't you don't you'll not able to miss any of the notes that i'm talking about let's talk about the important learnings uh, about the reporting bugs okay okay all right so lesson number 1 that i have learned testers are identify identify by how good they are with the bug report this is a really really important point let me tell you straight uh, you will gain the respect and credibility as a qa fresher or even as a qa with experience when you write a good bug report a good bug report basically contains couple of key elements that we are going to discuss uh, afterwards but if you include those right your credibility will increase and trust me that i have seen personally developers uh, pms stakeholders will give you more uh, respect because you are adding a good bugs to the projects as well as you are adding to a precise uh, bug report right so that's very very important a learning number 2 from that report is basically people respect if you add a good bug report that i have talked about right which is very clear precise and to the point which is very very important uh let's jump to the learning number 3 it basically say that you have to know your audience so basically you have to know your audience uh who is going to read about read this bug report okay so there are mostly couple of folks who are going to re re read your uh, right most of the time developers will be reading your uh, bugs right so what exactly developers want developers are nothing but they are programmers right and they just want to know where who how they are going to read that's it so basically they want to know what where and how and when so these questions you need to answer them in the bug report right they need the environment test data shoot a screenshot basically a video right uh, they need data so they they just need a data for that uh, whatever the bug that you are reporting right so that they can find why it is happening so let me repeat this again they are basically asking you what where and when what kind of test data and they want to find the answer of why it is happening right because that's their task in the code about how to find that uh, bug especially right and but the problem here is uh, if that uh, bug report that it, that is going to share with the pm co tester or designer uh, they need more like step step by step instructions right uh, they they just need uh, in a very easy language what is the risk they don't need jargon they need concrete proof if bugs exist or not they right and uh, they may be unaware about the scenario so you just have to give them intent what exactly you are doing so bug report is little different as for the pms as compared to developer developer they need more low level information right so that's what important okay so what are the key elements key element for any kind of a uh, bug report is summary description test setup and severity and uh, this is the template that i have discussed in my previous video also right you can include uh, title steps to reproduce actual result expected result uh, priority severity screenshot environment and additional information like uh, url server log mobile version browser version and reporter name right and if you go to this uh, link where i have given you one example in jira about uh, it 
login is not working step to reproduce actual result expected result url environment some of the screenshot and here we have priority labels component and other thing this is this demo that i have discussed with you guys right and uh, you can basically uh, go through this template also which is as the dot this link which will be available in the description also you can basically go through this all the important uh, key element that you can include in your bug report which will help you a lot okay right uh points to keep in mind while drafting the bugs which is very important now important stuff look look for du duplicates don't uh make because duplicate bugs are very very bad impression it will basically uh give you the credibility issues so make sure you that spelling mistakes avoid uh, include screenshots include test data uh, include the environment details include the logs if possible if you are sending it to developer 90 percent of the time you will be sending to developer so make sure you uh if possible you can include the logs uh if you are including videos make sure they are compressed videos so that uh that's not heavy like 100 mp 500 mp videos uh if possible use naming conventions right add bug if you even if you have this is very important that uh basically uh, right if you have a doubt or if you want clarification also you can add a bug and after that you can mark it it's not a bug right avoid the qa qa dev relation which is very important i what i have seen is people basically avoid adding bugs sometimes because they are friend with the developer don't do that it's basically going to harm you in a bigger run make sure you add the bug and always add the bug if you think it's a valid bug okay also so checklist again uh, look for duplicates to the point right attachment telling the point telling about the past relation bug so this is really important where if there is a bug which is basically similar to the previous bug you can tell them that uh, it's basically similar and it's a part of it right and the very very important thing which i think you should include is risk of this bug for example uh, you can say that if this feature is not working then the customer number or dealer these dealer will be affected and they are like 20% of our dealers so you can give them a certain data based on analytics right so if that is possible please go ahead and do that so that they will fix them in on priority okay uh, i hope you got the point in very crash course i have given you everything related to the bug report right uh, now links of course this is the basically document which i was talking about you can go through this link which uh, basically talks about a uh, crash course and it is uh, by pradeep and santosh uh, i think they these are my mentors kind of they have given everything you can go read this document which basically include a crash course on uh, on the reporting bugs and if you want to download the template you can go through this uh, you can download here as well as if you want to see the uh, jira bug that i was talking about you can go to this link and you will see the similar one which is i think here that i have shown you right you can go you can check it out let me make myself a little smaller so that you can look around okay so this is kind of a dummy bug i hope this is clear guys this was a quick video uh quick quick video around uh e crash course kind of a thing to how to report a bug right uh in this i think maximum information is already available and you are now i think uh should be comfortable now to report proper bugs okay thanks a lot for watching this video i hope this helps my name is pramod signing off see you in the next video